Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today I've got day nine of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today we are all about that cardio toning. That means that you're gonna need a nice light pair of dumbbells and if you don't have a light enough pair, feel free to take today as cardio only and go hands free. Or you can open up the description box where there's a link for the exact three pair set that I bought from Amazon that I use in all of these videos that have dumbbells. You guys, today is gonna be a great sweaty one and when you're ready for it, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. Go ahead and have your dumbbells completely out of the way while we do our warm ups, and that means that we are starting with some arm circles and high knees. Oh my goodness, feeling ah, this lovely stretch as we get started on what is going to be a super fun and kind of fast paced day. You guys, I I'm loving the challenge of coming up with something new and different to do every single day of this month. And today's workout, today's workout was a challenge for me, both mentally and physically. It is one of my favorite kinds of workouts. We are working on step stools today. And what that means is it's a ladder workout, meaning that every interval gets a little bit tougher than the last one. But I've done full on ladder workouts before many, many, many years ago. And those are really hard. And that means that they are not honestly great for weight loss. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers as well. Because the fact is, as I've now told you at least two or three times over the course of the last nine days, Working out harder makes weight loss harder. You guys, when we are working out moderately, we really have to think about moderation. And that's what was kind of tough about this one today. Cardio toning is in and of itself a difficult workout. We're doing cardio, but we've got weights in our hands, which means that everything has just that little bit extra to it. So the step stools is a really nice way to help you and help me moderate our effort today. So here's what it looks like. I've got the handy dandy gym boss set for intervals of 15 seconds. That means that our transitions are going to be pretty quick between things. I've got several triplets of exercises. We're going to start with one exercise and then rest. Then we're going to do two exercises in a row before we rest. Then we'll do three exercises in a row for the longest interval <laughs> before we rest. We're we're gonna do each one of our little step stools two times in a row. So today, today does get a little bit repetitive, but honestly, with the short intervals, let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. The short intervals, helps with that repetitive thing, but also gives us plenty of time if we didn't get it the first time to come back to it and feel a little bit better <laughs> about the exercise. And I'm really, I'm just talking to myself on that one. Some of these I'm looking at my list of exercises and I'm thinking, now wait a second, how do we do that? If you get lost or confused, my friend, there is nothing magic about any of these exercises. You help yourself to an exercise that feels good to you. As long as you're moving, you're doing an awesome, awesome job. Let's go ahead and get moving. I'm going to pick up my very, very light dumbbells. And I say that like they're very light. They're going to get heavy before the end of the workout today, but they're the lightest ones I own. Let's go ahead and get started with something that I'm calling triceps curl downs. We're gonna start with the dumbbells right here in front of us and we're going to curl it down by our side. Let's go ahead and make the timer go so that this counts. So we're going to curl it down and curl it down, starting with the hands right there at chest level and then curling down and squeezing from those triceps. And yes, 15 seconds really is plenty of time to feel this work. Now we get 15 seconds of rest, but here's the magic. We're gonna do those triceps curl downs paired with punching step backs. Here's what's difficult for me about the punching step backs. You're gonna punch with one hand and step back with the other so it's across your body. I'm gonna think about that the entire time. Here we go with those triceps curl downs, a side to side motion, and then we're gonna transition into that forward and back motion, punching forward, stepping back across your body. So your one hand comes forward, the other hand comes forward, back and forth while stepping back. Now this pace feels pretty mild, feels pretty moderate right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Don't you worry. Like all of our workouts, 15 seconds of rest. Like all of our workouts, this one is gonna catch up with you too. <laughs> Coming up next, all three of the exercises, we're doing triceps curl downs, the punching step backs, and then we're also doing high swinging side tappers. So we're gonna swing our hands really, really high. Here we go with the triceps curl downs, 
side to side, feeling that work, feeling really good with it. When it beeps, doing those punching step backs across the body, punching forward while stepping back, punch and step back. Core is pulled in tight for this one. When it beeps again, we're doing those high swinging side tappers. Hands are gonna go high on each side while side tapping on each side. Awesome job. A little bit more triceps work. Do you notice that? Definitely got that heart rate up already. When it beeps again, we're going to get 15 seconds of rest. And then we're going to go ahead and do 15 seconds of rest. Then we're going to do this whole step stool one more time. So that means that we're starting with those triceps curl downs again, all by themselves before we get rest. This is actually the thing that I love about a repeating step stool workout. So here we go with the triceps curl downs. You do have to love this first exercise a lot when we do step stools. That is always the thing that I think about. If this happens to be like the exercise that you just can't stand doing, 15 seconds of rest, then I do apologize because that does make the whole workout kind of rough, but you could just sub out something else. When it beeps again, we're going to do the triceps curl downs plus those punching step backs. Really thinking about going across your body because I'm pretty sure I did not go across my body last time. <laughs> There's a lot to think about in a short interval when we're doing workouts like this. And the fact is, there's nothing wrong with going same side. It's just a mental exercise for me. So punching and stepping. Yep, I had to look. <laughs> punching and stepping. Going across your body when it moves again. We'll get 15 seconds of rest. Honestly, today's workout is every bit, here we go, 15 seconds of rest. It's every bit as much of a workout for your brain as it is for your body. And I do try to include that on purpose. When it beeps again, we're going into those triceps curl downs for our, whatever that would be, sixth and final time triceps curl downs because we're doing all three of the exercises. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those punching step backs, thinking about going across your body if you can. And if you can't, that's okay too. So here we go, punching step backs. Nice job. Whoo, doggies, this is what I was talking about. Those weights get heavy when it beeps again. We're doing those high swinging side tappers. Hands swinging down low, up high, and feet tapping side to side. When it beeps again, we're gonna get 15 seconds of rest. Finding your best moderate pace. Doing such a good job. Excellent. Oh, there we go. 15 seconds of rest. Okay. Coming up next, I got a whole nother step stool for us. We're gonna get started with tree jacks. Gonna start with our hands down to the sides. We're gonna do our hands like jumping jacks, just flinging out to the sides. Our feet are gonna come up in one tree pose at a time, meaning that you're just trying to rest your foot somewhere on that other leg. Maybe it's your ankle, maybe it's your shin, maybe it's your knee, maybe it's your thigh. Truly does not matter, 15 seconds of rest. It's that little bit of extra core work that I love to throw into a cardio workout like this where we really have to think about balancing and pulling in our core. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those tree jacks. Right now, <laughs> tree jacks again, palms facing out. And when it beeps, we're gonna do reach across, which means that we get to have our hands whew, a little bit lower than this, thank goodness. We are reaching across in front of our body at about chest level while tapping out that same leg. Good lateral motion, really thinking about pulling in your core, using your big latissimus dorsi and your back to control this reaching motion. Awesome job, 15 seconds of rest. Okay. This is going to be the whole step stool this time. We're doing those tree jacks plus the reach across plus something I call starburst, which means that we're going to get a little and get big by poking one leg out. So tree jacks right now, palms facing out, core is pulled in tight, really thinking about excellent form while we move quickly. When it beeps again, going to do those reach across, always thinking about having your core pulled in so that the rest rest of your body can be doing its work just right. You know, it's time for injury when your core isn't pulled in. 
Other muscles get recruited. Here we go with starbursts. Get little, get big, kicking one foot out. Get big, kicking the other foot out. Nice job. No worries about how low you go on this squat. Doing what you can do to manage your way Woo, through this step stool. Awesome job. 15 seconds of rest. Okay. And now we get to do that step stool again, starting from the beginning, which means tree jacks only before we take a rest. My friends, always thinking about pulling in your core, thinking about excellent form, no matter how fast or slow we're moving, your core is the core of all your other movements. When you are not engaging your abdominal, your deep abdominal muscles, here we go with 15 seconds of rest. When it beeps again, going to do those tree jacks plus the reach across. When you're not engaging your deep abdominal muscles, your other muscles not only have to work hard Harder, but they also, here we go with tree jacks, they also end up recruiting muscles and ligaments and tendons and joints whose job it isn't to be doing that work. You know, the fact is there's always work to be done. Here we go with reach across. Awesome job. And the work will get done one way or another, but sometimes your body will ask innocent bystanders, let's put it, to do the work in 15 seconds of rest, to do the work of muscles whose job it is. So when you actively pull in your core, you are helping the rest of your body do its job efficiently. When it beeps again, tree jacks for the final time because this is our whole step stool. When it beeps, we're gonna do reach across, Awesome job finding a pace that feels good to you. And here we go with reach across. Your moderate pace might be faster than mine, might be slower than mine, might be this exact pace. When it beeps again, we're doing starbursts, getting little and getting big, holding in that core, Whew, and thinking about Excellent form along with this high heart rate. When it beeps again, we'll get 15 seconds of rest. Excellent, excellent job. Whoo, doggies. All right, all right. This is what I was talking about with the plenty of sweat that feels so lovely today. When it beeps again, we're gonna do big arm side shuffles. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space. We're gonna make a big circle right in front of our body while we're shuffling to the side. Now, this is one of those exercises when my hands are empty, <laughs> I can really get moving very fast. Because I've got weights in my hands, this feels a little bit more cumbersome, and yet, oh, it's still a lot of work. <laughs> Finding the happy medium for you is what this workout is all about. When it beeps again, we're gonna do those big arm side shuffles again, of course, and we're gonna pair it with frog reaches. So here we go, big arms in front of you, shuffling to the side, excellent job. A frog reach is basically a deep squat. We're gonna have our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, keeping whew, our core pulled in tight. You're gonna reach down and reach up. Squeeze it down low, press it up high. Thinking about keeping your core in, thinking about pushing your hips back. This is a good squat. We're not bending forward into it. Now 15 seconds of rest. Awesome job. Okay, here comes the toughest part of the step stool. I'm gonna scoot over, getting ready for those big arm sh side shuffles. Gonna pair that with the frog reaches and we're adding forward hinge arm flappers. These are some of my toughest cardio toning exercises, you guys. You know, the workout never gets easier. <laughs> I, I got asked about that one time. When it beeps again, we're gonna do frog reaches. I had a client many years ago, here we go, reaching down low, reaching up high, who asked me for a workout that got easier. She asked me for this for, I mean, weeks, maybe even months. When it beats, we're gonna do forward hinge arm flappers. Your back is gonna stay super duper straight. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Your lower body is doing a deadlift. Back is straight. Whew, hips go back, hips come forward. When it beeps again, we'll get 15 seconds of rest. Oh, before we start this step stool, again from the bottom, thank goodness. Okay, you guys, big arm side shuffles all by themselves. 
So finally I relented and I made her this workout that started off just brutal. I mean, I, I came up with, I don't, couldn't possibly tell you what the exercise was. Here we go with big arm side shuffles. But whatever it was, it was basically the hardest thing I've ever done before. And then we got easier from there. And it was so interesting that by the time we got down to the easy one, here's 15 seconds of rest, it felt super anticlimactic. Like she'd already done the hard thing and then everything after that, by getting easier, felt easier. When it beeps again, we're doing those big arm side shuffles. Here we go. But this time we're pairing it with those frog reaches. My friends, I know how to tell a good story. You don't start with the climax. <laughs> you have to finish with the toughest thing that we have earned. Here's frog reaches, reach down low, reach up high. Because then, I mean, I know, I know that you are going to feel amazing when we have worked up to the toughest thing that we can do. Here's 15 seconds of rest. That's not the toughest thing we can do. <laughs> Coming up next, we're gonna do that whole step stool for the second and final time. Starting with the big arm side shuffles, then frog reaches, then those forward hinge arm flappers. I am feeling this just about everywhere. Here we are with those big arm side shuffles, doing such a good, moderate job today, my friends. When it beeps, going into those frog reaches, here we are, feet wide, back is straight, hips go back before they come down. When it beeps again, those forward hinge arm flappers, couldn't come up with that word. Your back stays straight, your hands who are doing jumping jacks. Your lower body is doing a deadlift, which means that your core is working for it. You guys, what a great job you have done. We've got 15 seconds of rest because we are done, but we're not quite finished. Here it comes. The toughest thing we're gonna do today. <laughs> 15 seconds on each side of overhead front kicks. That means that your hands are gonna be up overhead the entire time. Pick a leg, any leg. I very naturally chose my dominant leg, but it does not matter. The other foot is kicking forward. There is no resting position. Your biceps are right next to your ears. Here we go, switching sides. This will be it. This is our final interval for the final time. Whew, because everything feels amazing when it beeps the next time. It's the last time it's going to beep ah, in this workout. What a great job you did. I'm going to put my dumbbells completely out of the way, ah, which is actually why I love this little stand that the three dumbbell set comes on. It's so nice that they're just here in the living room, but they kind of actually look like furniture. <laughs> Let's go ahead. I was starting to do arm circles with high knees, but you know what? I'm actually gonna do arm circles with side tappers because that high knee was just about all I had in me today. How about you, my friends? I love, I love a good high heart rate workout. I love the way I feel after I've pushed myself the exact right amount. Today's workout, not too long, not too short, not too fast, not too slow, not too hard, not too easy. This kind of Goldilocks is exactly what we're looking for for weight loss workouts. My friends, if you have not already downloaded my 19 page information resource about losing weight at or over 50 years of age, there is a link in the description for you to go grab that and learn everything I know about losing weight at our age. It doesn't have to be harder but it does have to be different. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers. Oh, give yourself a big hug. Such a good job. Pat yourself on the back. And then open up, open up your chest, open up your heart, and maybe, if this moderation thing is new to you, <laughs> open up your mind to trying something new, trying something different, getting different results, better results, frankly, by doing something different. My friends, what a great job you did today. I'm feeling good and sweaty. Ah, I'm ready to get on with it. How about you? 
up here on top if you would like a longer stretch. I always have a little bit more cool down for you. I do try to keep these workouts efficient so that you can move on with your day, but if you'd like a longer stretch, I have a link for you here on screen. On the other half of the screen, there's gonna be the playlist that has all of these 31 workouts. Right now there's only nine of them, but by the end of the month, you'll have access to all of them so that you can repeat them again and again as much as you'd like to. Down on the bottom of the screen, there's the letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon, where you can make a monthly pledge that helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for your support if you do. On the other side of the screen, that is a picture of me, but it's actually a subscribe button. Make sure that you click that and the bell notification so that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. You guys, you did such a great job today. Thank you so much for working out with me. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.